Are you tired of your rockets doing damage like this? That, each of those rockets did about 22-23% on this tank. That's nothing. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your rockets extremely damaging and take down tanks perhaps in two shots. Because by the end of this video series, you're going to be able to do this. Keep watching to find out how. In part one of this video, we're going to be talking about how to maximize your damage on tanks. And believe me, it is a lot more complicated than simply saying, shoot the back of the tank. In part two, we're going to be looking at what more unusual angles to shoot a tank from, such as top down. And most importantly, we're going to be looking at reactive armor and how to deal with a tank that is wearing that. And in part three, we're going to be looking at how to take down an APC and maximize your damage there. And I've got a special quick reloading tip for you when playing as an engineer to get your your rockets out even faster. Greetings, this is the Adipose from Team Europe. Check out the link below if you'd like to know more about our clan. And I'm here today with MG. Hello. Um, and we're going to talk to you about how to fire rockets into tanks and how the location of your rocket, the location of you and the location of the tank all work together um, to decide the total damage. And we're going to show you how to make sure you maximize your damage on the tank as often as possible. Now to make sure our tests are consistent, I'm going to fire most of my rockets from between these two doorposts here and MG is going to line up his tank uh, with these two walls here. And we're going to show you the different effects that we can get on this tank. So, first of all, a str shot straight in the front. MG, if you could put your gun up slightly. I'm um, just going to shoot him straight in the front, and MG's going to call out the damage that we get. So here we go. 21%. 21%. So that is essentially a uh, five-hit kill um, on that tank. Um, but we can do better than that. But let me just show you that if I come off to an angle and still shoot the front, we get... 18%. 18%, which has actually now become a six-shot kill. So try not to shoot the front at an angle, or in fact, try not to shoot any the tank ever on an angle, but we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, MG, if you could turn around to the side, please. Now I'm going to shoot him square in the side, in the body, and so I'm lined up with the middle of the tank, and I'm going to shoot him in the middle of the tank. Here we go. 34%. 34%. So that is just a three hit kill. But now look at this. If I change the angle at where I am shooting, still shooting in the side, but changing the angle just slightly, the damage difference um, is quite surprising. So I'm just going to move a little bit to the right, and then I'm going to shoot him a little bit to the left. So still aiming at the middle. Here we go. 32%. 32%. So that, although that only sounds like a couple of percentage points difference, that has now gone from a three-hit kill to a two, sorry, to a four-hit kill, which when you're trying to battle a tank is actually a, a big, big difference. And just to show that it's not just the where I hit the tank, but where I'm standing that makes the difference, let me move off to an angle, and now I'm going to aim at the very, very middle of that tank on the side. So look at this. 21%. So a huge damage reduction, not because of where I hit the tank, but because of where I was standing. So I hit the tank in exactly the same place, right there, but because I was over here, the damage went down loads. But look at this. Supposing I'm standing here, so I'm, I'm, I'm level with the very back of the tank. If I shoot the front of the tank, we know I'm on a, on a four-hit kill. If I shoot the middle of the tank, I'm probably going to be on a four-hit kill. But if I line it up exactly with my Self, so I'm uh, so I'm almost kind of um, perpendicular to it. We get this, thirty-four percent, which is definitely um, a, a three-hit kill, and it works on the uh, on the front side as well. So I'm going to line myself up just with the front, and I, I can see that I'm lined up because you can see the two fronts of the tank. If I move till they just disappear and become one, so there you go. I'm I'm now de definitely lined up with the front section of the tank there. Eighteen percent. Really? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. 
You never make any sense. What are you talking about? Well, that should have been <laughs> a high damage thing. Bollocks, let's try that again. No, no, the front of the tank, it just seems to it just seems to negate most of the damage, doesn't it? Oh, well, let me try and say that again. I'll air this bit out. Okay, so now I'm going to um, line myself up with almost the very front of the tank, and I'm going to take a shot in the side. So I'm, I'm again shooting at level with I, where I am. 36%. 36%. So I can get 36% by standing over here and shooting here. I can get 36% by standing in the middle and shooting in the middle, and I can get probably up to 36% by standing near the back and shooting the back. But what you can't do is shoot across the tank and get those diagonals, okay? So you need to shoot it level with you. Okay, but now let's have a look at shooting at the rear of the tank. So, uh, MG, if you could rotate so we can see that there ass. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful ass. Um, now, I've made this mistake before, but how do you, can you tell when you're shooting at the front of the tank or the back of the tank? Um, the easiest way i found is to just look for these headlights. Um, there's normally, you know, you can see that the bright, big bright lights there um, make it quite distinctly different um, from, the, from the back of the tank. So, t look for the lights. Um, so I'm just going to shoot him square in the back, lining myself up uh, with uh, the middle of him, and we, we get... 55%. And that lovely vehicle disabled um, idea. So that's a two-shot kill, um, square on in the back. Now the back is very, very sensitive to angles. Have a look at this. If I just move over just a little bit to the left of the... T to the right of the tank as it disappears in the cloud of smoke. MG, would you mind just driving forward a little bit so we can get a clearer view on the tank? There it goes, beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to move over just a little bit. So I'm still in line with the tank, but then shoot over to the left. So I'm shooting at a slight angle. Let's see what we get now. 18%. So, whoa! So no vehicle disabled, and all of a sudden I've gone from a two-shot kill to actually a six-shot kill just at that very very small little angle change so just re reload the rockets um, MG if you could just uh, move the tank slightly so we can get rid of the dust that's brilliant but now I'm going to stand in the same place again and now I'm going to shoot level to where I am so not the middle but I'm shooting in line with where I'm standing let's see if we can get that tank disabled 55%. Yes, we can. So that's a very, very subtle change, but if you end up behind a tank, wherever you are standing, you've got to shoot in line with that. So if I'm here, I'm going to shoot this tread, this tread. If I'm in the middle, I'm going to shoot the middle. If I'm on this tread, I'm going to shoot here. Don't shoot across it, because it could make the difference between a three-hit kill, or a two-hit kill, or a six-hit kill. Big, big differences on the back. Um, but supposing you find yourself in a diagonal situation, so MJ, if you could turn the uh, the tank to the side, please, um, so we're looking at one of the sides. Supposing you end up in a situation like this, you're kind of standing here, um, and it happens a lot of the time uh, on Battlefield that you end up not being able to get quite square on. What do you do? Well, the best thing to do would be to either leap here and take a shot straight on, like that, um, because that's then shooting the side, um, and it would be better to go for the side than the diagonals. But if you have to take a shot from a diagonal, let's see what we get. So I'm going to shoot square on into the front from here. And we get... 18%. And now I'm going to do the same thing again, same position, but this time I'm going to shoot it into the side. And let's see what we get. 18%. So actually, if I've got a choice between the, the front and the middle, and I'm at a diagonal... It doesn't really make any difference whether I shoot here or here. I'm getting 18% and I'm getting a six-hit kill. So the the advantage of getting just running across and getting the shot in here... 35%. ...is huge. Just moving over that little bit and shooting that rocket square will give me the difference between a six-hit kill and a three-hit kill when compared to the front and the side. But let's check out the different diagonal. If you could turn 180 degrees, please, MGN. Okay, but supposing I then have the difference between looking at the back of the tank and the side, so I'm on this particular diagonal here. MG, can you shift the tank slightly to get rid of some of the dust? That'd be great. Um, so I've just got, so I've got an option now of shooting the side or the back. Now, the best possible option would be to run across, get level with the back as soon as possible, and hit it there, because then I'm going to get a disabled. But supposing I can't, you know, there's so much fire going on, I think I'm going to die, so I've got to take this shot. What do I shoot at? If I shoot across to the side, I'm going to get... 18%. 18%. Six hit kill, not very good. Supposing I pull that shot in slightly, still shooting the side, and I'm going to hit it closer to my, at the angle at which I'm standing. We're going to get... 
18%. So no real improvement, even though I've pulled the angle in um, closer, uh, the side is not going to give me a great result shooting from this diagonal. If you can just shift the tank please to get the get rid of that dust, that'd be great. Um, but now this time I'm going to shoot, um, and back towards me a little bit please. This time I'm still at the diagonal, but I'm going to shoot it in the back, and I'm going to just give it a couple of couple of feet leeway. So I'm not going to shoot right at the corner. I'm just going to push it across just a little bit, and let's see what we get here. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. So if you have the choice, if you're standing at this angle and you've got the choice between the back or the side, you definitely want to be shooting the back. But now let me shoot all the way across the back um, and aim kind of more at the middle of it a bit. If you could just shift the tank's position a little bit to get rid of some of the dust, that's beautiful. So now I'm going to shoot across into the middle of it. Here we go. 29%. So we lost a percentage point, and I know w one percentage point either way might not matter, but when we're talking about 33s, 34s, 35s, and 32s, that's this could be the difference between a two hit kill yeah. and a three hit kill. So if you have the choice, if you could shift the tank please. Um, if you're shooting at an angle like this, you want to be aiming at this tank tread, probably about here. Okay, so I just back up a little bit to show you what that looks like. That's what we want to be aiming for. Whether I am, whether I'm here, or whether I'm here, it's that tank tread there I want to aim for. Not here, not the middle of the back, not that tank tread, but there. That is going to give me the maximum damage, but not quite as much as getting square onto here, and definitely not as much as getting square onto here and going pow and getting that vehicle disabled. That is the sweet spot which we want to get to. If you enjoyed this tutorial or you found it helpful, please give it a like because then I know that you want this series to continue. Um, part 2 will discuss how to attack the tanks from unusual angles um, and where to hit it for best results. I will also be discussing the all-important reactive armour and how to deal with that. And in part 3 we're going to look at APCs and I've got a reloading tip for you. So please come and check out parts 2 and 3 and I'll see you soon.